First, though, we're following some breaking news. NASA's Artemis dress rehearsal is called off. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. News 6's James Barvero is live along the Space Coast tonight following this rehearsal for us. So, James, NASA is now saying teams have run into an issue. And because of that issue within the past hour, Matt and Lisa, they now say they are scrubbing the wet dress rehearsal, the remainder of the tanking process for today. It was a vent valve issue. The latest in a series of issues that have popped up since yesterday, resuming this wet dress rehearsal this morning. Now, this is a disappointment, but the teams are saying here that they've still learned a lot and they are making progress. Powering the most powerful rocket in the world, NASA needs to fuel the space launch system with well over half a million gallons of fuel, even more propellant than the space shuttle used to take. It's an enormous amount of liquid hydrogen and oxygen that goes into this big rocket. And if all goes well, they're going to take this countdown all the way down inside of 10 seconds and stop it just before you would see the commands to fire up those main engines. The wet dress rehearsal has not been without setbacks. Sunday, NASA scrubbed fueling because it said fans weren't working to stop the risk of exposure to hazardous gases. Then Monday morning, NASA says teams worked through more technical issues before the tanking process got underway. And finally, late Monday afternoon, NASA says just before it was about to send the liquid hydrogen into the rocket, a valve for venting would not open. I think NASA's under a fair amount of pressure to get this rocket off the ground and into space. It's years behind schedule, billions of dollars over budget, so naturally there's some pressure to prove this rocket is up to the task of carrying astronauts back to the moon. And even a little more pressure as breaking at 5 o'clock, we've just told you how due to that vent valve issue, NASA is now saying that the attempt for the wet dress, they had about an hour left in the countdown. They're calling it off for the rest of the day. And the teams are telling us that they will discuss how quickly the vehicle can be turned around for another attempt. We'll be back with you at 6 o'clock, Matt and Lisa. We may have an update then. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. James, thank you.